Good morning, Modern Steaders. In today's video, we're gonna be making this butcher block workstation. We're gonna finish up making our butcher block island for the three day pig harvesting class we're having coming up here in around a week. Oh my goodness, can you see it? I got the prototype t-shirt on. What do you think? We have a few minor adjustments we gotta make. We've had the logo for a while. We just wanna make it bigger. We wanna do screen printing. And we gotta figure out and we need to figure out the t-shirts and the colors. This is going to be fun. Let's finish up making the Butcher Block Island. In yesterday's video, we got the top base built, we got it cleated, got the legs put on, and today we gotta to put some braces for the bottom legs, then get our wood cutting boards installed. have this look nice. It's not, the height of it is more of for luxury at this point. Don't want to go right to the bottom. Okay. Like that or like that? Let's see. I come down four inches. Yeah, I like the look of that. Looks nice. I need to come down four inches, so here, and then it's gonna be five and a half, so nine. So now we can go. One, two. Now my countersink and drill bit's not gonna work. So I'm just using a 3 8 drill bit and I'm gonna countersink the top. I glue it again. Just using some liquid soap. On my screws because they're so long, there's gonna be a lot of friction on them. Now we could just do one leg in the center and that'd be more than enough support. But I'm gonna do one on each side just because someday we might wanna add a shelf there. If we don't, it's still fine. Let's do it that way.
man. I thought that was going to be long enough. That's the longest we have, too. This will be interesting. Yeah, that'll hold it in place for us. Let's get our screws in position. Glue on here. Setting it in oh, almost a quarter of an inch from the edge just to give it a nice reveal. squish out of the joint makes me happy This might get a little messy, so we're just doing it outside. We're just using mineral oil, which is food grade. We're just going to cover all the wood with the oil and let it soak in. Let's do this a couple of times. I really enjoy applying a natural oil to wood. It just really brings out the finish. Now this is the underside of the butcher blocks. So we're gonna need to flip it over now. And apply the oil to the top side. We'll flip them over one at a time. And we can get the edges while we're doing them nicely.
The center board here is cherry and walnut, and the ones on each side are just walnut. I just did that to add different colors and character and texture and just to make the whole thing pop. We had maple downstairs. We had some cherry. I think the walnut with the mahogany just gives it a nice look. It's just different colors and different grains and textures and Now we'll be adding more coats on this, but this is just the first coat and it looks nice. To apply more coats, we're just going to let this sit, wipe it down, and just keep reapplying the process. It's very simple. I hope everybody approves of my use of the mahogany wood this time. I think this project came out really awesome. I think this is going to make a really good demonstration table for everybody to be teaching and learning from during the three-day pig harvesting class we're going to be having going on here. So, I'm looking forward to it. I'm getting pretty excited. I'm looking forward to using this new table. It's a thing of beauty. I didn't think it was going to come out like this. I'm just trying to whip something up quick that we'd have so we can have a nice cutting station. It went a lot better than I thought. We'll be having this. We'll be using this for years and years to come. So if you like today's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, share it, it's really helping the channel grow. And I wanted to thank all the modern steaders for that. If you'd like to dive deeper into the modern steading, go on over and check out our website. I'll put a link for that right here and in the description down below. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.